tēnā koutou, ngā mihi kia koutou, uh, ngā whānau o te, te rohe o te arua, Ngāti Raukaua, mai makatū ki tonga rero. It's really interesting as, as, as a representation of humanity and from a Māori world perspective, the kāinga represents past, present and future. When I was growing up, I was fortunate to grow up with my elders and try to understand why things were. And in searching for those answers, I became very familiar with taonga. And it's those taonga that became the or ancestral belongings, that became gateways into the past, into understanding whakapapa and the genealogical connections, and about the responsibilities I carry to that whakapapa for future generations. Now, whakapapa generally we think of as just a the recitation of ancestors, but if you dig deeper, it's actually the knowledge that's contained within those ancestral epochs of time going back into the distant past, back to when we still belonged to the Pacific and before, long before we arrived in Aotearoa New Zealand. Those taonga carried those encyclopedias of knowledge, they're mnemonically encoded, and to grow up around that and understand all of that knowledge and the taonga animate them and bring them to life and then when you animate a taonga onto the whenua, onto the landscapes or the waterways, you're, um, you're actually starting to read the past and the lessons that have been carried forward so that we might navigate the future and learn from those past children. Meanwhile, they've grown up today completely excluded from understanding that, that past. And I'm kind of the bridge in between. How do I explain what my elders was there every day to a generation that's only been born in the last 15, 20 years. The motivation for the book, I guess, in a way, is to provide and understand what I've seen and what has changed, and also provide a commentary or a narrative on why kāinga are so important. Kāinga are uh, more than just a homestead or a village. They're actually a whole system of knowledge that is mapped onto a, a water land catchment to which a whakapapa, a genealogy, a kin group has belonged for generations and ensured that it, the landscape and the water and the ocean surrounding it provide prosperity to the people, that they not just survive but they have well-being. And with these crises that we've had with colonisation, we've also ended up with 150 to 200 years later, intensive agriculture, the degradation of our our lands. I track that from a perspective of being Māori, I've been an anthropologist, I've been a, a curator, I've worked in museums, uh, the kāinga provide ways of understanding what the heck's happening today from a past perspective but also where we're going in the present. And the cover the publishers picked up on a particular quote in there, will humanity still be part of Earth's future? after her inevitable reset. I guess what I'm saying there, this is like te kore mako tangata. If we don't listen to those cries coming from our elders, then watch out. And they started warning us 50, over 50 years ago what was happening to them. This is an alarm um, from my perspective with talking for all the ancestors that come before me. We can't not listen to this, wake up, and start doing something immediately. Things are changing. We've exceeded all limits, and uh, yeah, time to step change in new directions. Killed it.